Well, first of all, what, what an unbelievable job by Gaddis, uh, the, the right-hander from Georgia State. Uh, that, that, was, uh, that was big league stuff, four pitches for a strike. Uh, no hitter into the eighth, and uh, that that was a gutsy performance. I think he started on Thursday and and uh, closed the game for them on Saturday. And so, what an unbelievable job of Coach Frady and those guys. Uh, I, I couldn't be more proud of these guys, especially these two, because these are two of our first recruits uh, three years ago, and uh, believed in this program when there wasn't much to believe in. I think it's the first uh, program win since 2011, maybe. And uh, these guys bought in. And uh, unbelievable at bats uh, by both of them. You know, Riley left on left slider. I think it was a slider, wasn't it? Sure. And uh, he gets it done. And then Christian Reyes, a guy that absolutely knows who he is in the game, works a walk earlier in the uh, game, works another walk, gets a sack bunt down. And uh, a guy that hasn't played every day for us, but he's been called into action. His attitude has been great. And, uh, you know, just an awesome job of, of, you know, we really could have packed it in and said, well, we're facing, you know, maybe a future big leaguer or a good draft pick. And so uh, we're going to take it to the house. These guys didn't do that, and I'm proud of them. I mean, like Coach said, I mean, uh, their starter got us did an incredible job, unbelievable job. And we just we just kept saying, if we, if we, get, if we can get this guy out of the game, man, we, we can have a chance to win it. And uh, we just kept saying, we're not going home today, man. We're going we're gonna to live to see another day. We're going to find a way to, to get it done. And then Gattis did a good job. And then uh, can't go unnoticed what our pitching staff did, you know. Kept us in the game, kept us in the game, kept us in the game. Chandler Fidel gives us a great start. Or both righties coming out of the pen. And then, you know, we just we did just enough. We did just enough to get it done today and uh, got the first one out of the way. And uh, we're ready. We're ready to keep rolling, man. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that uh, our dugout was relentless today. I mean, Right out of the gate, our two hole goes down with a broken, broken wrist. I mean, that's really unfortunate. But you know what? Shout out to him. He was the first guy on the rail, cheering everybody else on. I think that just that plays a big role in our dugout. You know, we've had some ups and downs this year, but one thing our dugout's done is stayed really consistent and just keep fighting, keep fighting. Like Ray has said, we were really relentless today. We got him out of the game, and then got got one, one or two crucial hits to to get the job done to live to fight another day. I think these guys make a great point. You know, Ryan Benavidez got hit on the uh, on the wrist on on the second at bat of the game, and then you know we we find out he's got a broken wrist and he's done, and he's our hottest hitter right now. And so I, I think it's just a testament to the way these guys have been uh, all year long of, of not giving up, no matter what uh, what gets thrown at them. Riley, I mean, first pitch swing, it we just sitting on the slider, or was there have you seen him before? I mean. Just looking for something up in the zone, trying to get something deep, uh, trying to stay out of the double play. Saw it early, got a good pitch, got a good swing on it. Luckily, I put it in a perfect spot, and we were able to tie the game and go on to the next one. Uh, Riley, you guys were two outs away, nobody on base, finishing up the season, losing seven out of eight. And then, what, did the light go on? What I mean, what, what do you think happened? I think I think like I, like we said earlier, our team's just been really relentless and just not flinching when things don't go our way. I mean, that's something coach always preaches. That's something we've done all year long. You know, uh, just just trying to fight to the next pitch and uh, don't blink when when we're down, when we're up. Try to play consistent flat line the whole time. And regardless of the big moment, I mean, all runs, all hits, they all count the same no matter when they come. And one thing we talked about in the dugout, to answer your question is I think if you try to make the moment too big, you know, uh, season on the line, down to two outs. It gets too big for players. It gets too big for everybody. We start talking about, man, just give us the best at bat of the year. Give us your best at bat of the year. Hit it on the barrel, and let's see what happens. And, and we can live with that. And it came down to, the, you know, the 25th, the 26th, the 27th out. And uh, those are the hardest ones to get. And, uh, you know, what about, what about the at bat that Coker had? Uh, what about the at bat that Nick Perez had to set the table? J.D. Gann he gets hit by pitch. Chandler Fidel, uh, seven strong innings for us. The bullpen, um, just a really, really team effort. Yeah. Uh, Reyes, if you wouldn't mind, could you walk me through that last step ask, please? Man, uh, I think we're, we, were th we were thinking right there of maybe uh, playing some small game, maybe uh, suicide squeeze, safety squeeze right there. But I think once we saw uh, 
uh, that their guy had was having a little bit of command issues with hitting uh, hitting JD with uh, with his first pitch. Uh, we kind of we kind of we were, we were gonna let him throw us a strike, and then once I got he, th- he gets me in three balls, throws me a strike. Coach gives me the green light to swing there, but I, I just I just felt like I, was, I trusted myself. I knew I knew if he if he did get get me in two strikes, I was I, I trust myself enough to know that I could fight something off. So I just I decided to give him one more pitch, and uh, and he walked me with it. So it's just incredibly happy I could I could uh, give that a beat to my teammates, my coaches who worked incredibly hard for us and uh everybody that supports us really man. Just make that sure I heard that right. You had the green light on three one, not three oh no 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 three oh no <laughs> no Barry Bonds gets the three oh uh, green light not not me. Any other questions for the student athletes? Guys uh thank you very much and then uh coach we'll just wrap it up here one one more question. I know you're flipping around getting ready for tomorrow just kind of walk us through mindset getting ready to, to come out and be good for tomorrow. I mean what an opportunity you get to play the host uh, the host team. Uh, the, the Cajuns at their park. It's going to be rocking. You know, I don't know, six, 7,000 people that are cheering against us and probably 50 that are cheering for us that are our, our families. But, I, you know, when we recruited these guys, we said, hey, we're, we're going to get in situations that are going to create memories for a lifetime. These guys will remember this game for their lifetime because it's a first for us in a long time. But then the opportunity tomorrow night uh, to face the host team. We're now in the double elimination tournament. We like our pitching depth. Um, we've got guys that we can go to, and, and I think the game changes now that uh, even though we were in the play-in game and uh, we had to play one game sooner than we wanted, uh, I think for an opportunity to play the Cajuns tomorrow and what a, what a great club, uh, I think our guys will relax and finally take a deep breath and just, just get out there and get after it and see what happens.